Hi guys, my name is Kirsty and welcome to Upside Down Books. Today we are going to be doing a mini review. So this is something new I'm going to try and I'm going to introduce this very quickly. I'm going to try to be keeping this super short and do a series of reviews on books that are like two to three minutes long so that they're much shorter and briefer than my full length reviews but so that I still get to discuss with you some exciting books that I've read. Today we're going to be looking at Navigating the Stars by Maria V. Snyder. This is a YA sci-fi novel which is 458 pages long in its paperback format. It has an average rating of 4.19 stars on Goodreads and that is from 1046 ratings. So it's actually a little bit underread, I think and I would like today to recommend this book to you because I really think you're going to enjoy it. This book follows a main character who is female and she is called Lyra. Now her parents are both archaeologists and they are experts and what they do is I travel through space to look at archaeological digs. So Earth still exists in this planet but people have discovered how to travel through time quicker by folding time and space essentially. I really like the sci-fi concepts around this and the aliens that we get in the book so Lyra doesn't really want to be tagging along with her parents for one very very good reason. Whenever they travel long distances because they fold up space to jump the time which condenses and makes it shorter how long they have to travel it means that whilst they travel from planet A to planet B time still passes normally on the planet they leave behind and whilst it may have only been a year or six months for them to travel 50 years may have passed back here because of the time compressing which means that all of her friends have grown up slash died by the time that she moves and the more that they move the more that this happens and so there's this lots of sort of conflict within Lyra herself with being interested in what her parents are doing but constantly having to leave friends and family behind. They are looking at these archaeological sites on different planets which are named after Chinese cities I believed in honouring of the, where the terracotta warriors were originally found. So that is what they have discovered is that these terracotta warriors have been discovered on other planets. Now they don't know how many planets, they don't know why they're there, and they don't know how they've got there, so they're hoping that every time they find a new planet with these warriors on them, something will be revealed to explain if there is life out there, because at this point in this book they've still not discovered alien life itself, except for within the story they do encounter some alien life forms and lots of mess and drama happens. The interesting thing is that we get two bad guys in this story essentially. We have the aliens that are causing a few problems but we also have some space pirates that are doing lots of hacking and making things dangerous. So this is a really enjoyable read that I would highly recommend. I would recommend this to fans of the Red Rising trilogy by Pierce Brown, the A Thousand Pieces of You trilogy by Claudia Gray and Invictus by Ryan Groudon. So if you've read any of those or books similar to those then I think I can pretty much guarantee that this book is going to be something you enjoy. So that is going to be today's review of Navigating the Stars, what it's about, what I love. I didn't have any negative thoughts about this book, I just really enjoyed the reading experience. I thought it was fun to put archaeology in space and try out and see what happens with that idea. So those are all of my thoughts on this book today. I hope that you get around to reading it. If you've already read this let me know down in the comments below what you thought and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. <laughs>